Well, hello everybody out there in Atlanta, this is Chris from with another exciting episode of Toys Log. We are back out at Universal and Resort today for another exciting episode uh, to look at some of the uh, new Scare Zone stuff that has propped up around the parks. A lot of stuff has appeared around the parks since we last left on Tuesday. It took me a long time to get through Universal Security today. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, the line was backed up, it took me about like almost a half an hour to get through the entire security line to get through the actual uh, metal detectors themselves. Uh, like I alluded to last week, uh, a big chunk of Central Florida schools go back uh, next week. So I wonder if maybe this week is the last hurrah uh, for some people. So maybe, uh, you know, it's going to be a busy day. But let's not waste any more time. Let's have some fun. get into the park today we do have our first sign of rigs on the outside of the park so we got one there and we have one right here so two rigs one here of course these will illuminate our archway here's our other rig on this side of the bridge so we got our two up at the front here so one here and one over there. Also on this side of the archway, we do have our two rigs on the back side here, looking to illuminate this side of the archway. So our left side ticket booth is actually open. They've uh, finally taken away the construction walls. So it's actually open. So up at our collection of horror scare zone, we do have our trust work. It's got this platform on the top there, plus lights. So it appears somebody may in fact be up on top of that platform, greeting guests as they walk in. Once again, this is at the very entrance to the park. So there's Minions Land down that way. And here's our trust. So a lot of progress over here. Lights, platforms. Look from the other side. Here. Look at the crowds down Production Central. The Spickle Me is at a 50 minute wait. So it is kind of a busy day here. The Villain Con is at a 35 minute wait. So not too bad. Still in soft openings, of course. Opens officially August 11th. But it is quite a busy day out here today. And a hot day, very hot. So set up for the Transformers bar has commenced. We got our stuff here. So it is busy day, so you can see the extended queue for Transformers goes all the way down there. So but here we are. Quite a lot of new stuff over in Vamp 69 Summer of Blood. We got a lot of motorcycles. So this one is over here. Another rig too out in front here. Plus a motorcycle here. Over to the side of our stage here, we've got a lot of motorcycles, three of them. Well, some oil drum cans just kind of hanging out over here. Good times. So behind our spotlight camera doohickey here, we do have a little box of some sorts. A lockbox, if you will. <laughs> Just kind of chilling back here. Here's another lighting rig on this side of the street here. So, for some context, here is our spotlight, camera, whatever it is. And then here is our, our other rig. So deeper down New York here, we have our psychedelic bus to sort of go along with our music festival. 
course we've seen the school bus numerous times before at Halloween Horror Nights. This one just got a psychedelic makeover. And our mummy friends are out. <laughs> just hanging out. But psychedelic buses. Very cool. Here's the other side, our typical Halloween Horror Nights. Please do not climb signs. There's the bus. Some speakers back here too. All throughout Vamp 69, we do have these little, you know, banner flags spread out all across the New York area. So there's a blue one over there. We've got a green one over there. So blue. We've got a yellow one over there. Another green one. So Vamp 69 got a lot, a lot since uh, we left on Tuesday. It is, like I said, it's very crowded day out here. Here's a closer look at one of our banner flags here. It's a blue one. This is uh, closest to the Irish uh, gift shop here. Nothing new just yet over in San Francisco. So it's still just our boxes and uh, some fog machines and our speakers, but nothing new since Tuesday. And our food and bev carts still behind construction walls. But that's it. So over by our San Francisco bar, they haven't done too much. Looks like they're doing some prep work. They've taken the tables out that are usually down there. And they've moved these little small uh, rigs to either side over here. But that's pretty much it. So a bit of a quick little note or nugget of information. Um, they did announce the other day that a certain SNL character uh, will be featured at the, uh, what is it, the Peacock uh, themed bar that they're going to have here this year. Uh, David S. Pumpkins apparently will be a walk around character that you can take photos with, I believe, in this um, Peacock themed bar. So <laughs> that's a thing this year. Very interesting. I uh, don't know if I'm quite interested in that, but if you enjoy David S. Pumpkins, apparently he's going to be at Halloween Horror Nights 32 this year. So, there you go. So we're by the Simpsons. Our construction walls are now totally gone. No more construction walls. And it looks like Sledge Homer is really gone. But also, our Simpsons statue has returned in front of the Simpsons ride sign. Them on the roller coasters, all that good stuff. So it is back. Simpsons return, but no more no more construction walls, so that's a good thing. So you can walk freely all around this area now. Thank Jeebus. So even though we still have no lights visible on any of the Simpsons buildings, it will not surprise me if Chief Wiggum will soon disappear for putting up the tables like they have been the last couple years. Who knows? Just a thought. Quick check on our DreamWorks construction project going on over here. So they're working on that metal thing over there, which I still think might be the far, far away castle. But there we go. So walls all the way out to here now. They're working. Quite a bit of progress over in Jungle of Doom. We've got some planters with palm trees. We've got some props. Hang it out over there. There's these things. So, these though, look at these giant bats. I am reminded of Indiana Jones. Ooh, what big birds! Those aren't big birds, sweetheart. They're giant vampire bats. Very cool. This will have a lot of these crates walking around here. And these bats are basically the entire length of the scare zone. At least up to this point. Giant vampire bats. And we have the uh, first instances of a crashed plane in the jungle here. Universal Airways. No front just yet, but 
Got some vines. No planters over there. There are crates. No planters over here. Well, one of these little prop thingies over here. Looks like we're going to have some uh, natives in the jungle. And then our temple ruins here have gotten some moss. Not this one, but this one has some moss on the edge there. A closer look at some of the moss work going on over here. So a closer look at one of our bats. Very cool. There's the other guy. Our Day of the Dead bar that we've had over here the last couple of years is indeed returning. So next to Cafe Obamba, the current location of the temporarily uh, temporary Starbucks. <laughs> uh, there's the Day of the Dead bar right there. So coming back. And then we also have this over here as well. So this little spot, just like the last couple of years. Check it out on Hollywood, Homer and Marge are out, as well as Beetlejuice over there taking some pictures. So we do have some stuff here over here. Lights on our rigs up here. Looks like some speakers. We do have our stages set up here. We got some uh, metal work going on. These are tied to the Zodiac. Was that Pisces for the fish? So we are in Dark Zodiac, of course. So we got this right there. I believe that's Pisces, right? Pisces is the fish. Another stage set up over here, pretty much right in front of the Born Suntacular. I don't know which one this is. Is it Sagittarius? Is that this one? That's the, is that the Minotaur looking guy? So Sagittarius. So that is pretty much it for our Hollywood stuff. So this is the other rig down at the end coming in from the entrance. So just a couple little electric, uh, electrical thingies and our wraps, which we saw last week. So I think that is gonna do it for us out here today at Universal Orlando Resort. So it was a very hot day out here. We did see a lot of the progress going on over there. Uh, Advanced 69, we got some motorcycles, we got some banners, we got the school bus, all that stuff. Uh, Jungle of Doom, those bats. Uh, I do not think that uh, pictures and video do those things justice. Those things are huge. They are ginormous hanging from the treetops there. Of course, the crash plane and some other things over there. Uh, and then of course, Dark Zodiac's got their stuff going on. Uh, not too much in Hollywood just yet, but there are some things. Uh, Shipyard 32, uh, nothing else going on there from last we saw on Tuesday. So uh, I think I mentioned the David S. Pumpkins thing. Apparently David S. Pumpkins is going to show his face uh, in the Peacock uh, themed bar this year. Uh, so there's that thing. Uh, I think that's it. So as usual, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs>